question we're looking at today, which is better, a square peg in a round hole or a round peg in a square hole? We can debate what we mean by better, but uh, we will construct diagrams where there are two circles with the same radius and we put a square peg into one of them and put the other one into a square hole. There's a little bit of math involved with figuring out what some points on the circle are. The, the equations are there, uh, but uh, the code to generate some graphs, first of all, there's the graphs. We're going to import a couple of libraries, set the radius to be two, but it works with whatever radius. And there's the calculating some points on the circle that we'll need a little later. We'll start by declaring a figure and setting up some sizes for it, uh, a little bit uh, wider than it is tall. <clears throat> and then we're going to add some shapes to it. So we have a circle where we specify the X and Y coordinates with a little bit of calculating from the radius, and then a small square to go inside it and a little uh, line along the radius. And then we do the same thing for circle 2, exactly the same as circle 1, just shift it over to the right a little bit, and we have a square that goes around that, and we draw a line along the radius. So these two yellow lines will be the same length, they're both the radius, which in our example is 2, but we could run it again with a different radius. So given that, which one, just looking at that, do we see can we define better as being a tighter fit or with less wasted area? We have to see if we have ratios of the areas. We can do some quick calculations of the areas. So the area of the circle is pi times the radius squared. The radius of the big square over here, I guess those had those in the wrong order, but big square over there is 2 times the radius squared. Uh, so the diameter of the circle would be equal to the length of the side of the, the square. And then the small square, we can do some trigonometry to figure out what the, the side of the square is from the radius. I've sort of condensed that down into this equation here, and maybe we'll do a little proof of that in the comments. But given that, we can see the radius uh, or the area of the circle is about 12 and a half. The area of the big square is 16 and the area of the small square is 8. Interestingly, you'll see that those are all the always the area of the small square is half the area of the large square. I'll leave it to you to figure out why that is. But uh, from that, which one is better? And what do we mean by better? Does the radius of the circle matter? Is area the best way to compare? And how do the ratios of the areas compare? I will leave that to the viewer.